Hello, my name is Terry. This video will cover our St. Vincent's Field investigation, the site of the historic exorcist case. It's one of three locations here in St. Louis, the others being the Alexian Brothers Hospital, the wing of which has since been torn down, and a private residence located across from the university here in St. Louis. Some of the personal encounters were quite noteworthy. In one instance, several investigators down in the basement witnessed a full human apparition that was so close to an actual human that they mistook it for a maintenance worker. One of these personal accounts happened to me. While at the far end of the upper fifth floor, standing outside a door, we had not yet entered this room, a sensitive advised me not to go inside this room. Well, when she said that, I just had to open up the door and go inside. When I did, it got no further than the entry of the door when something inside the room was starting to pound on the ductwork. When we came back a few minutes later with more people to examine the room, there was nothing inside the room. It was completely empty and there was no reason for what was going on. Another unexplained event were all the decapitated bird heads that were laying on the floor side by side as if they had just been laid out. The bodies were all missing, but the heads of five or six birds were all neatly laid out. This floor is sealed off from the rest of the building. The public cannot get up into these floors. Some of our investigators had a very interesting personal experience. Several of the rooms upstairs are covered on their floors with insulation. While they were looking at the floor, they were noticing human footprints forming in the insulation. They could see these form into footprints walking across the floor, leaving a visible trail of something walking from one part of the room to the next. Whatever it was was unseen the entire time, but the footprints were left clearly visible. In the first video clip, something that has happened to us on previous investigations has finally been documented on video, something turning the power switches on and off. At the very end of the long corridor at the fifth floor, you'll see the power switches on the wall, but there's no one there switching the lights on and off. Yet while we're walking up and down the corridor, the lights are going on and off. We've had this happen at other haunted locations, but this is the first time I've ever actually videotaped it happening. What's also kind of odd and striking is, is that everyone seems oblivious to what's going on. These are all experienced investigators, and the lights going on and off would normally draw much more attention. I have no idea why everyone just seemed not to be paying attention to what was going on. Who threw the switch? Who threw the switch? In the next clip, you'll hear two of our male investigators speaking. Right after you'll hear two footsteps, an unexplained EVP voice can clearly be heard. The area that you heard all the... Something slammed something down ahead of us. Here, here. It's down in here. The area that you heard all the... Something slammed something down ahead of us. Here, here. It's down in here. Something slams. Something slams. In the next clip, I videotaped one of these decapitated bird heads. This one was isolated and away from where all the others were located. The others were located in the central corridor, and this was further deeper into the fifth floor. This decapitated bird head was just laying on out on the floor like the others, but it was isolated by itself and not lined up like the others. Another bird head. In the next scene, Greg can be heard asking me a question. Before I can reply to his question, an EVP voice pipes up and says no. Did you see one of the machinery rooms? Did you 
see one of the machinery rooms. The following scene was recorded in the basement. No one was down there at this time while it was recorded. An EVP voice can be heard saying the word yes. The next scene was captured by Greg with his camcorder. A voice saying, help me, can clearly be heard. None of the people in the room heard this at the time it was spoken. The following EVP voices were all recorded by Greg with his voice recorder. I've added photographs to the audio. In the following audio clip, while in the south basement, Greg challenged the entity to speak. It quickly replies with an EVP voice. In the following scene, Greg can be heard speaking just a few words. The majority of the words spoken are an EVP voice. You can distinguish between the two clearly as the EVP voice has a hollowed out sound to it. This is not a human voice speaking. Is there much of anything on the sixth floor? I've hadn't gotten anything. They said they got uh, an image on the thermal, and this is where the nun's supposed to walk down from the sixth to the fifth, but I've never gotten anything. I was up there several times last time. 